A buy to let property investment, should you buy it in your own name or should you buy it inside of a limited company? There are two different tax structures and each one has a major issue. Check out this video as Louise and I discuss this very topic. Um, and what's the best way to buy, either in personal name or business name? And I'm going to guess business, you mean limited company. So big assumption there from me, I appreciate, but hopefully I'm, I'm not sending you over the edge. Um, in order to make it as tax efficient as possible. So I'm getting a cheaper mortgage on the personal name. So exactly as Simon was saying earlier from the lovely Simon Hodgson, um, what you'll tend to find with mortgages is that buying an asset and getting a mortgage in your personal name might be a good few percentage points less cost to you than it would be in a limited co. Don't necessarily, though, be fooled because if you have a service accommodation furnished holiday let, there's a very strong chance you're going to be pulling in some serious income from that asset and hopefully some serious profits as a consequence. You need to look at the big picture. Back to one of the comments I made earlier, forecast forward for the period of time you think you might own that asset and assess if actually mortgage interest at the lower rate in your personal name is more tax advantageous than it would be in a limited co. And it's quite complex or it can become quite complex because not only have you got to compare income tax rates if it were in your personal name versus corporation tax rates in a company, you then got to think about, well, not only have I got corporation tax rates if it were in the company, when I start to extract that money to my personal name, under what tax regimes is it going to be taxed and therefore what additional tax might you pick up? So it's not... Mm. A very simple answer, and I appreciate Devanshi, I'm probably not answering the question you wanted, but I think you need to go and do some more analysis because some of our clients, when they've done that, they've been very clear at the front end. It's a, the answer is limited co Louise. Of course it is. And then we've done the analysis and they've gone, oh, the answer isn't limited co for me or vice versa. So I do think you need to go and have a look at your personal situation and work out the numbers. The beautiful thing, of course, though, back to a comment I've already made, Furnished holiday lets meeting help sheet 253 means section 24 doesn't apply and you get full tax relief on the mortgage interest you're incurring in your personal name.